In this episode of Lost in Kruger, I have an app, Bianca runs away from elephants, and we go to a couple of regular sandparks camps before heading to the next luxury lodge. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Kruger Park. We're not entirely sure where we're staying tonight, but we know we'll be normal camping in the park, so we stop on Hood Spray to stock up on some essentials. Hello! Good, how are you? Oh, lost in Africa TV. As much as we have loved the spoiling, we're both super excited for some normal Kruger time. It's our first time back in the park since the culmination of the original Lost in Kruger series. You can see B might be a little overexcited. Guess what time is. Okay, so the park is much busier than last time we were here, but we did manage to get a safari tent in uh, Tampwiti tonight, which is awesome. We're going in at open now. We'll head through to Tampwiti, just drop off some of our stuff and then go on a game drive. But it's really good to be back in the park, even though it is super busy, much busier than we normally like it. And out there we have a giraffe. Three giraffes. Hello, Jerry. They walked away as I pointed the camera at them, obviously. Elephants in Kruger, the two go hand in hand. They're so beautiful, we absolutely love them. So we're in Tambwiti for the night. We went on a short drive. It was relatively uneventful. We did see a European roller eating a scorpion though, which was really cool. We've got a long drive tomorrow, so we'll, we'll max out on our bush time tomorrow. For today, we're just gonna take it pretty easy. Have a nice brine now, have some steak. Um, just do a little unpack. We're only here for the one night, so it's not really worth doing a big unpack. A little home for the night. Little single bed. <laughs> little dodgy fridge and walking cupboard. It's going to fall over, bum. It's not a walking cupboard. <laughs> but it's pretty. So we had a good night at Tamboti. We had a lazy morning, which is unusual for us. I got some editing done, which is much needed. I haven't been doing much editing. We see bees driving to Bari today, and we are actually not 100% sure where we're heading. We were meant to be heading to Shingwiti, but it's really far north, and it's a very long drive. So we are heading to Satara now, and then we will see if we can get accommodation somewhere else. Otherwise, we've got a long drive up to Shingwiti, which is not the worst thing. We do enjoy going to Shingwiti. Bianca's going the wrong direction. <laughs> we gotta go that way, we. Uh, we do enjoy the road up to Shingwiz, it's H1 the whole way. We've had some incredible sightings there in the past. So if we gotta do a long drive today, we'll do a long drive today. Sometimes wildebeest just stand around looking confused. I think 
a lot of you remember, Bianca used to be incredibly nervous driving around elephant. Let's see how she handles this now. Mm. Oh, you get a head shake, that's your first warning. Cool, calm and collected. She was even taking photos while that happened. <laughs> So we stopped in Satara and uh, checked with the reception there and there's space in Senzi tonight so that's awesome. That means we can spend two nights in Senzi and we don't have to go quite as far so we don't have to rush as much to get all the way up to Shingwidzi. We also bumped into one of our friends from EWT which is really cool as well as a bunch of guys that recognize Jabari and are big fans of the channel so that's really cool as we do this more and more and people start to recognize what we're doing it really it's, it's amazing to have that appreciation. Um, and it's great motivation to keep on farming and keep on editing. What do you think, B? Oh, B. <laughs> I'm making us um, rolls with mozzarella and ham and lettuce. So, yeah. so we're on the H1 heading north towards Mapani where we'll check in to go to Tenzi Rustic Camp which is somewhere that we've always wanted to go so that's uh, that's really cool we got two nights in there now we got two nights there now we have two nights there now sometimes I literally function as a tripod Really fun to river. Awesome river. stop. You get out of the car here, which is really cool. So this is when I leave Tim at the Olifant River. Bye Timmy. <laughs> Bye Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're playing a game of tree identification. Can you recognize these trees being? We're in a breeding herd and Tim's a little bit panicky today. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, look at that one taking the whole bush. Oh, hey there. So, we have had a very long day in the park. We didn't see a huge amount, but it was still amazing. Now we have to set up our tent. Let's see how long it takes. And so, just like that, our I can't mini is set up. <laughs> Excuse me. We settle into our little home on wheels for the night, surrounded by the amazing bush noises of Chenzi.
It's a nice early morning start and you can feel that winter is slowly coming. It's a little bit chilly this morning and it's nice and misty. And it's really beautiful. We're gonna head up to Shingwitzi, Hob Dums. We have a better game viewing day than we did yesterday, but we had a lot of fun yesterday even if the game viewing wasn't great. Uh, we got a huge herd of buffalo staring us down like we stole their money. stop at Shinguetsi and we are now doing one of our favorite roads the S56 and we hope it treats us well <laughs> the bush is very dense though so if it doesn't we still enjoy it regardless and Timmy's working because we gotta trying to edit How the hell is it? No, we're reversing. Because <laughs> I already had a teenager charge ish, and a little baby, and a little baby came thereafter. Yeah! I'm jumping back soon. I have a laptop on my lap, so <laughs> you, we can't swap places like we normally do. Go forward. Go forward, don't turn around. I don't know who's around the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, don't jump. Bum, my laptop is plugged into two hard drives. Well, you can't jump. Just ease forward. ease forward. Are you really freaking out again? Yeah. Okay. There's a whole bunch behind me again. 
Once again, I got stuck in between a breeding herd and this one didn't stop coming every time I thought it was safe. Elephants are slowly becoming my least favorite. <laughs> After that excitement, the rest of our drive was pretty uneventful, except for this crocodile busy catching fish as they float over the low-level crossing by Shingwidzi. Always find it incredible how predators adapt their behavior around human influence. We set up camp, got some cool stalls of my workstation, and had an early night. So we had a wonderful two days at Tenzi. Um, it really is a beautiful campsite. There's no electricity. That's the only potential downside, but that also makes it quite appealing because fewer people will want to come here and there's not as many kids around camp and there's beautiful bush noises. It's really wonderful. We're now um, gonna go completely in the opposite direction again. We're gonna go back to Five Star Luxury at Mbali Luxury Lodge, which is within a concession in the Kruger Park. So we're really excited for that. We haven't done that before. Done. Tim, do you think he's lost? No, I think he's trying to locate someone. It does sound pretty mournful. And the next thing, boom, 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 he went running off to go and find, I, I, I presume, his partner, because they, they are monogamous jackals. So we're on the H1 heading down towards Satara. We found a pair of breeding lions, which is incredible. They breed every 20 to 30 minutes or so, and often for two or three days in a row and their condition actually decreases as they're, doing, as they're breeding because they're not feeding or doing anything else. So they basically just spend three days um, breeding. <laughs> Super cool sighting. We moved on, it's, uh, this is the H1, so it's a very busy road. It's also, it's a long weekend weekend, so there were a lot of cars around and there was already a queue of four cars behind us and someone hooted, I think they were coming from the other direction though. We got a really cool shot of them breeding and we've got quite a long drive today, so we need to get, get back on the road. Keep on heading south, we're getting pretty close to La Taba now. Um, so the, the felt is changing around us, which is awesome getting some bigger trees that's um, getting out of that Mopani shrub felt that um, can be a bit frustrating. Please join us next week as we go to another five-star luxury lodge within Kruger National Park. I hope you enjoyed this episode and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did.